Hello everyone and welcome back to another video of mine. This time I'm back with We Are episode 15. Y'all, it's the semi-finale. Next episode will be the finale of the show and I miss it already. But I'm so excited for this episode. If I remember correctly, we're gonna get some cute moments between each couple. And what I'm most excited about is to see Poom sneak into Peem's bedroom. Are we surprised that I'm saying that? No, we can't. So let's see what this episode will give us. If you like this kind of content, make sure to subscribe for the full uncut reaction. You can check out my Patreon. The link is in my description box below. And without further ado, let's start. <laughs> you would have to carry me because there is no way in hell I'm walking up there. For no money in the world. I'm way too lazy for that. Mm -mm. Like I said, Toy got the assignment. He understood it. Damn! Oh. What? Are they gonna laugh? <laughs> Everyone feeling the game! Everyone feeling the game that we see Toy in the background! Hold the fucking phone! I thought this was supposed to be like a platonic thing and they were gonna stop laughing, but no! <laughs> Everyone! Look at Toy in the background! Everyone was sensing the gay tension! I can't! I love it! And Pia being third wheeling, y'all! I feel so bad for this man! I would be Pia in the fan group, like everyone already being in a relationship and I'm like in the bag. Hello, my king. His, because he has a special muse. Ugh. He my Mona Lisa. That. Like I said, he got the inspiration in front of him. But he's denying it in front of other people. This is just so funny to see. Real part cool. My heart exploded, yo. Like, if my man would be telling me that, head over heels. I was about to say just like hug because uh, there is too much tension here, too much cuteness. <laughs> He's like, let's zoom, let's zoom so we don't have to look at their faces. I would continue walking like that as well if I knew that my man would be into that. <laughs> Just for a short period of time, of course. And never in front of other people. No one should know that I'm whipped. The men I would be interested in in this friend group would be Toy, Q, Poom and Pim. And Toy is like the exception of cuteness. He has like this level of cuteness that makes him so cute like you just want to take him home. And that's the kind of cute dad I love. Mm. I'm holding hands, y'all. I can't. I'm dying. Give me your hand. No. <laughs> Not the sweat saying, you know, it's never enough. It's never enough. I need to feel your warmth. Like you can't stay away from me anymore. You need to be here, next to me. The second you let go, I feel like I'm dying. Like, I need to feel something of yours. If it's not your clothes, I need to have your hand. Uh, Y'all, what is going on with fa- Oh my god. Y'all, me too, though. I would be the friend in the friend group that is the only one that's not snoring, so I would always be awake. And what Tan is doing... <laughs> Me too, I would get up and I would leave and this man being like, where is my man? Like he left, so why am I here? I'm leaving too <laughs> He did not have to be like <laughs> Y'all I was kidding Why? Last episode Shane said I'm hugging you so you won't be hungry and now he's like hug me because I'm hungry I can't Y'all, I don't know if they're worse than Poom and Peem or not. Because both of them being tongue-tied, they can't be straightforward when they're being... Like, I can't really hate on Jane because you can actually see this man is literally pulling in all the moves. You can't understand it differently. He is being that straightforward. 
It's Pansorias that's still not being straightforward. You. Because you're my star. Those are the cheeky liners that I would accept <laughs> Q to say. I love that he's always asking. Knowing that toy is completely head over heels for him. Because he could be saying no thank you. <laughs> You're like, what? They took their own room. I fucking can't. Are we gonna have a sex scene between these two too? Stop! I'm already. I'm already! Wait! What? No, 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 no! What? Y'all, Jimmy MTV needs to warn a bitch. <laughs> Jimmy MTV needs to warn a bitch. I did say they're my favorite, and then after them, there's Poom and Peem. Jimmy MTV needs to warn a bitch, okay? They need to warn me. I already did say that they sent me to my early grave in the early episode. If they give me a sex scene between these two, I'm out. They need to warn a bitch. They need to I need it like uh, how long do I need in order to prepare myself uh, at this point I don't think I'll ever be ready let's be honest at this point because I think I squeaked with Toy and Q the most in this show <laughs> but still you can't just bring a sex scene in here without warning me in the sneak peek you need to warn the bitch Jamie TV you need to warn the bitch hi oh, oh, y'all I kind of got used to the feeling that we're gonna have a sex scene between Poom and Peem. <laughs> but Q and Toy, no, no, <laughs> y'all, I can't. Y'all, if I, if I continue to play through the episode, I, I'm gonna be dead. <laughs> I don't think... No, 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 no. I think I'll have to break up the episode because <laughs> I don't think my heart can handle these emotions. Especially with all that desire that they're expressing. Like a Satang and Winnie... Like the expression that they have in their eyes, it's making the entire situation even more hot, even more intense, even more sexy. <laughs> and I can't handle it like two sex scenes in one episode is too much for my heart. Y'all, no! I need to <laughs> play back. Let me fully experience the heart attack. And it's the fact they were having problems getting close. And they're the first ones to do everything, like getting in a relationship, kissing, having sex. Yes. The consent that you is giving us. It's everything I needed. Y'all, I'm dying. And the way I would feel so shy the second, like, my clothes are being taken off. No, y'all, no! <laughs> Okay, now I'm shirtless. What about you? I was about to say, <laughs> I love this. Y'all, my soul left my body. You know who to blame. <laughs> this man said I'm sleeping on my own in my own bed because all the snoring is not working for me. Y'all, the hate though he had in his Mommy. eyes, he's like, who followed me? Oh, I, I can't. Y'all, it's the fact. <laughs> I think it's so cute the way Font is holding the pillow. <laughs> it reminds me of the teddy bear. He's so gorgeous. I hate it so much. Thank you. No. Mm. Now that I have you, why would I want to? <laughs> Technically, you had the pillow, but that's not what you're looking for, is it? He be asking for it. He be asking for sex at this point with that sentence. Just a hug. And the way he's looking down on his lips too. He be asking for more. Uh, Y'all. I'm just accepting the blessing at this point. And the melody is also doing their blessing, you know? It's 
It's always the hand wandering that's doing it for me, yo. Everyone having their fun ass time. The other couples. <laughs> they be sleeping. I think that was the most beautiful thing to do before they did more. I'm sorry, I think it's just so attractive. It's such a turn on when your partner holds your wrists. <laughs> that shows dominance, y'all. Oh, I'm in love. Now, y'all, which scene did you prefer? The scene between Poom and Peem? Or Q and Toy? I think mine is Poom and Peem. <laughs> because of the desire that they expressed. Be careful with the blankets, though. You will have to wash too. They will need intensive cleaning, okay? Oh, I love this! The relationship between Q and Peem's parents is so beautiful. It's so cute to see. Tell me! He's like, no, we had sex and this bitch continuing you know, like this. I thought we were closer than that. He went to the Y'all, I can't. I can't. Peep said, boom, you're not telling me I'm going to the Damn! He said you either tell me or you tell me. <laughs> the silence! At the silence, he was like bitter. He was like, excuse me? Is he trying to surprise him? Oh, the bear! I miss the bear! Is he sick? I am with this man lying his ass off. Oh, the sadness! Damn! I would feel hurt. I would feel hurt. Because he alone again. He's seeking for Peem's prison. <laughs> but the brother is there. At least something. The sadness and despair. I'm sorry. Stop. Hold. I need to... I need to change position. I need to change position because I need to see this man's face. What's wrong with this man's face? Oh, <laughs> the sadness and despair. Oh, stop. It's breaking my heart. And this man knows, so he's grinning his ass off. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, I can't see Pond sad. It's hurting me. He is so depressed because he wanted to see his man, y'all. He is so depressed. He's just trying to buy time for them. <laughs> y'all, it's the shade. It's the shade that Pooh is throwing in. Look at him. <laughs> me. I would be looking like that too. I would be like, are you serious right now? You dragged me here? And now you won't even buy shit? I'm living my best life. He got so many friends now. Look at his happiness. Look how big his smile became. Now the happiness would be even bigger. Like knowing how many friends he had. And he was like in isolation his entire childhood. And now he sees how many friends he has. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Y'all, I'm sorry. In my dirty mind, if everyone would be giving a different kind of sex toy, I would be laughing my ass off. Oh. That I'm happy. Now, how do I punish you for making me worry so much today? <laughs> Technically, Peem got everything that this man desired. His presence and making him see that he's not alone anymore. He gained so many friends, he will never be lonely again. 
ขอบคุณที่รักกูนะพิมกูก็รักมึงนะ I'm feeling emotions don't make me cry and him initiating the kiss again I just love this not distracting him มึงอยากกินเค้กแบบนี้เองอะ It's much tastier like this Now this is outside this is dessert รักมึงนะ Stop it I'm feeling the click Like at this point, it's over for both of them. Like they keep on saying "I love you," <laughs> and it's making their makeout sessions more powerful. I don't know what to say. Bye. Them actually now showing what it implied, how they ended up last night. They couldn't wait another day, y'all. They had to have sex again. The smile. I fucking hate him. <laughs> I hate him, love him at the same time, y'all. The bear. He's like I disappeared because you got enough of me last night. He wants to taste something different, son. กินข้าวที่บ้านกูไหมแค่ไปกินข้าวเฉยเองแล้วก็ได้เจอแม่กูด้วยนะกูไปบ้าน Period. He got to know your parents. ไปกูทำตัวไม่ถูกอะไอที่บอกว่าไม่พร้อมเนี่ยพอจะบอกได้ไหมว่าเป็นเพราะอะไร Is it because of his parents? The problem with his father, or? Y'all, I'm sorry, but Pawn's eyes are hypnotizing me. Please, you know he will give in. Pawn knows, or more like Poom knows. Poom knows he will give in. What kind of house is this, y'all? This is a fucking mansion. Y'all, the shyness. Yes. You would be. The more you like your partner, the more you're scared that uh, the parents of your partner won't approve of you. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> How are you gonna introduce him, though? <laughs> the way he's raising the eyebrows, as in I told you so. He was never there for him. There's nothing binding these two together. I explained it so many times, y'all. I don't think I can add more to that. It's a trauma and it's painful to reminisce on your childhood and know that you have no memory with your parent. So that's the pain that's stopping him from actually reconciling with his father. Because it's not like his father is actually uh, kind of acknowledging the fact that he disappointed Pum and that Pum needed him in his life. He keeps on saying, I did it for you, but I didn't want that. And Pum kept on repeating it, that it, that's not what he wanted. And the father keeps on saying, I did all of this for you. And that's making who become even more depressed, even more desperate with the situation. Definitely. Now that's the biggest lie of all, Pim. I would tease the shit out of him. Oh. Weak, me too. We're getting the blessings. After so much shit in the last ep few episodes. <laughs> Son, he won you over like this. He's like, I can't with this. Please don't. I love it. I love it. I love it. I mean, give him a taste of his own medicine. He was like, you ain't talking nice to me. Now you are. And now he's like, that's too much for me. What do you want now? Stop complaining. This man won you over. He won your ass being the way he is. That everyone is biased. Both of them biased. Damn. Boys, calm down. I love this. Toy and Pim fighting over with the uh, over the man. They're like, my man is the more handsome one. I'm the one that scored, not you. And by getting with Toy, <laughs> Pim is also provoking Q. Hi. 
This man just staring at his man. Me too, sir. I would be doing the same thing. That normal pulling in a stick. Period! In front of everyone, salad! Now we're in the temple! In front of everyone, salad! I would have kissed him. I wouldn't have cared. I would have been like their shame in front of everyone's salad. I can't. He actually was like, please let all the bad things in my life disappear. And P literally pushed Tan away. That was hilarious. <laughs> oh my god, and completely, y'all, I love that the relationship hasn't changed. Toy will always be the ch chase you. Y'all, I love that after all the bullshit that they put us through, especially with Poom and Peem not being capable to admit to each other that they like each other and all that unnecessary drama that they said the last episodes, we will have everyone just see the blessing. No fucking drama, no nothing. Everyone, every fucking couple just being with their partner, being happy and everything. I love this. And I love to see that... Poom is like opening up to Peem and literally that's like one of the cutest things I've ever seen in any show. He keeps on pinpointing on the fact that he loves him. Like in general a lot of people say like don't say something too often or it will lose its meaning. In this particular circumstance it just highlights how much Poom has started to depend on Peem and how in love he actually is with him. Like, in my eyes, Peem fell first and Poom fell harder. Okay? Because the only one that literally could not give up, no matter what happened, was Poom. Even when he wasn't doing anything wrong, he kept on being the first one to pursue Peem when there were any problems. You see... Like an example was when this man got into a fight with his father and he couldn't keep his promise to Peem. And Peem then got upset because Poom couldn't tell him what happened, etc. And even though Peem like knew what happened, he didn't go to Poom to clear the air. Poom went to Q and Toy and then he went to Peem himself and tried to explain the situation. It's always... Poom going in there. And it just shows in this episode how many times has Poom said that he loves Peem. I was taken aback. I didn't know what to say. Like before they had sex, which is like one of the most beautiful things. Like a lot of people be like, I don't know. Like after sex, they say, I love you. Which in my eyes, it doesn't really mean that much. Because when you say I love you after you had sex, it's like... I love the way you make me feel while we were doing it. When you say it before, then it shows that you are that much in love with them that they bring out the desire to be intimate with them. You crave touching them. You don't crave the intimacy or like the desire or lusts like making you want to have sex with them. Which is like something that is based on being superficial. Or shallow. No. The, des the love I have for you, like those strong feelings you stir inside of me, make me crave intimacy. I want to be closer to you than other people. And they kept on emphasizing before they kissed, before anything, they kept on saying, I love you. I love this. I really do. 
at this point, I would have to say now my favorite couple is Boom and Beam. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it so much. Now, like, um, my two f- uh, favorite couples are Q and Toy and Boom and Beam. Like, there is nothing to debate about that. I love them so much. But I hope you enjoyed this video with me. Next episode will be the finale. I'm so sad. Let's see which episode they will bring out after this. Like, which uh, series will replace Wednesdays. But we will see. Hope you enjoyed this video with me. Tell me in the comments below what you think was best. And I will see you in another video.